Lightning is scary and destructive enough when you're in a plane at 30,000 feet, and now we have to worry about radioactive invisible lightning. Anthony here, and radioactive invisible lightning sounds exactly like something I would have made up as a kid to automatically win whatever game we were playing, but it's a thing. It's a real thing. It's called dark lightning, and it turns out airplane passengers are the most likely to be exposed to it. So you've got a thunderstorm going. You've got liquid and ice particles colliding and creating these crazy electrical fields in the clouds, building and building, and then boom, lightning at 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit and a billion volts of electricity. Now that is hotter than the sun and it's enough electricity to light a 100 watt bulb for three months. That's intense, but dark lightning is even crazier and it's happening at the same time. It's this invisible spray of X-rays and gamma rays. Now, we usually think about gamma rays in terms of supernova explosions or black holes or the best parts of the Avengers. Every blast of dark lightning has a million times the energy of one bolt of regular lightning, but dark lightning spreads instantly in every direction instead of forming these thin bolts. So why would airline passengers be worried? Well, it looks like dark lightning mostly happens at the same altitude that planes fly, and a direct exposure to dark lightning could deliver the maximum lifetime safe dose of ionizing radiation in a split second. And since it doesn't really flash or crackle, the only way to know whether a plane had been exposed would be to have a radiation detector on you. Now, before you wig out and buy Amtrak stock, that is not a huge cause for alarm. First of all, unless you're a character in the Langoliers, your pilot is doing everything they can to avoid going through thunderstorms and other weird weather. There's also only one dark lightning flash for every thousand visible flashes, so the odds are pretty slim. We don't even know if anyone's been struck by dark lightning before. So crazy to me, you guys, that this intense cosmic energy that we normally associate with black holes and supernovas is happening right over our heads. We fly right by it regularly. Dark lightning now officially replaces tornadoes as my favorite insane weather condition. What sort of weather is constantly blowing your mind? Let me know and subscribe for more D News.